You are in tutorial hell and you have no way, no how on how to get out of it. Let me show you how. Enjoy the video. What is up everyone? Welcome to another video. This is Chris Sean. Welcome to the channel. If y'all don't know anything about me, I am in tech. I've been in tech for about six years now. I was a front-end JavaScript developer for about five years of my career. And the last year and a half, I've been a developer advocate and I'm never going back. I love it. <laughs> Actually, now I work primarily in Python and as a backend developer, and it has been a fun ride. Anyway, the reason I'm sharing my experience is because I've been through exactly what this video is about, which is tutorial help. And one thing that I've noticed after meeting with so many different people who want to do one-on-one -on -one mentorships or people who signed up on my one-on-one -on -one mentorships that I have in the description, I meet with about three to four people a week now as my channel has been growing. It's been growing to about, about five people per week. And one thing that I've noticed with a lot of people is how dependent they are on tutorials. It's scary and sad because I know exactly how you feel. I've been through that situation. And the reason I'm making this video right now is because I met with someone just a couple days ago. And and this person lives in a different country. They li this person lives in, I believe, New Zealand. And one thing they shared with me was, yeah, Chris, I don't really like using tutorials. I feel like tutorials beat around the bush way too much. They make these tutorials very long because they want to keep you on the course as long as possible and to subscribe to future courses with them. And I told him that's very true. That's exactly what I felt when I was going through tutorial hell. And what he told me was, yeah, I actually tend to go straight to documentation because I feel like I learn faster. Rather than just waiting for someone to explain one concept in five or 10 minutes, I understand it in a few minutes. If not, just Google it and go to Stack Overflow. And when this person told me this, I told him straight to their face, you are a unicorn. It's a unicorn because I am so discouraged when I meet with so many people who think tech isn't for them or they want to give up. A lot of them tell me that they can't even study code for two months. They give up. But this person that I'm speaking to straight up said, I don't really like to use online tutorials. I like to go through documentation. And I told them because of that, make sure when you interview at your first job, you tell them that you don't like to use tutorials. Like we've seen a lot of people do. You'll learn more from documentation. That will help you land a job. That shows your potential. And it's huge. And that blew my mind because everyone out there that I speak to are completely dependent on video tutorials and don't let that be you that was me for three or four years of my career because i never did well in college because i never did well in school i just assumed that video tutorials was the only way to really learn of course my first two years in tech i had no one mentor me at all only when i went to my first mid-level position i finally had a mentor and so for my first two years in tech i was just on my own on my own and i only thought video tutorials was the only way there was no one giving me advice on how to learn we need to stop that i'm not saying tutorials are bad they're not but they're really bad when it become something that you're utterly dependent on. And I'm going to tell you this, it will hurt you in your career the way it hurt me. It took me so much longer to advance technically because I was so dependent on using Udemy courses, using Treehouse courses. Heck, I, I use Zero to Mastery.io, link in the description below. You don't have to use it, but I use that to learn Python, but now it's not the only thing I use. I depend on documentation now. I depend on technical blog posts, which teach you so much more than a video. I learned so much more from a technical blog post that tells me how to build something in Python than to watch a 10 hour video on how to build a simple to-do list in Python, if that makes sense. So I'm done with ranting. Let me give you a few steps on how you can end this tutorial hell and stop depending on some tutorials and get ready to cancel your memberships. Don't tell them I told you this. Number one, I think first, you need to evaluate the actual tutorials you have. The amount of tutorials you use. For me personally, I have like 10 tutorials in Udemy and if I completed maybe, actually no, I've completed zero tutorials in my life, but I completed like half of a few of them, if that makes sense. I just buy the tutorials thinking they're everything I need and that's it. So now what I do, for example, I work as a backend developer working primarily with data engineering, etc. I didn't know what DBT was. I didn't know how to work with it. I need to understand it. I need to learn how to work with Airflow as well, which is an orchestrator when you write your ETL, ELT pipelines. So when I need to learn something, for example, DBT, all right, I'll buy a course in DBT. I'm gonna learn it. It's only 10 hours long. I'm gonna learn that and double the speed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take about three hours, four hours tops, maybe five hours to learn the whole course. But I'm going through that course with a goal. I'm going through that course because I really need to understand how to work with DBT. How does DBT work in the first place? And the same thing with Airflow. I have the intention of completing it and what exactly I need to learn. And if I learn everything I need to learn within a tutorial without even completing it, then I move on. That's it. But thinking that I need to complete the whole thing to understand that technology, no, it's not true at all. Actually, you can just use documentation or you can find other 
resources somewhere else. So number one, evaluate your courses. And secondly, how many courses are you actually using? Are you subscribed to, let's say Treehouse, and then I don't know what online courses are there. Do you need to be subscribed to multiple online courses? Do you need to continuously buy a new course every single month, every single week, just because it's a sale? No. And to be honest, I feel like if you have 100 courses on your Udemy, 50, 20, 30, you name it, you just feel overwhelmed and you don't even know where to start. So number three, but really focus on what it is that you want to learn. If it's JavaScript, focus on just JavaScript. Don't move on to anything else. If it's React, focus on React and move on to next year. Yes, et cetera, you name it. And so last but not least, practice, practice, practice. The more you use something, the better you become at it, right? Rather than just continually, depending on the tutorial, a video tutorial to learn something, try to build something. When you get stuck, Google it. You get stuck, go join my Discord and ask for help or someone else's Discord. You get stuck, go to Stack Overflow, you name it, anywhere to get help. That is what will make you a better developer. Not sticking to a video tutorial nonstop, course after course after course, day after day after day, but actually building and failing is what will make you better at using that technology. Anyway, this is just a quick video I really wanted to make. I hope this helps you out. Well. Get out of tutorial hell. Don't just depend on that. Don't just depend on courses. Learn, fail, build things, and fail again. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer, and I'll see y'all at the next video. Peace.